On Thursday, Xiomora Castro did not only became its 61st head of state of Honduras, but she made history as its first female president. As she assumes office, infighting and dissidents in her left-wing Libre Party could undermine her ability to pass a legislation in a sharply divided Congress. Castro has promised a fresh start in the country's politics, pledging to provide better health care, job opportunities and fight corruption. I promise to be faithful to the Republic, comply with and enforce the Constitution and its laws. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris attended the inauguration. She is hoping to help the Latin nation to curb illegal immigration. Hondurans account for nearly 20 percent of all illegal immigrants from Latin American nations to the United States. There is a lot of opportunity there. You spoke about this in your inaugural address in terms of the importance of uplifting the economy and what that means to families, what that means in terms of the creation of jobs, and what that means on the issue of migration. Vice President Harris aims to shore up support for Taiwan. Honduras is one of the few countries maintaining diplomatic relations with Taipei instead of China. Castro had threatened to reverse Honduras's allegiance with Taipei and switch to Beijing when elected. Taiwanese Vice President William Lee Ching Ti also attended the Castro's inauguration to bolster ties with Honduras. But it's the feud in her own party that could undermine her promise to tackle the country's economic problems, high levels of gang violence and drug trafficking, all issues at the top of her agenda. Muttalip Erdogan, TRT World.